In this lesson, we're going to cover how to create baseline dimensions. Baseline dimensions are associative, meaning that they are not parametric. They are going to be linked to the specific geometry that we tie them to. But any change done to the model, these dimensions will automatically update. To create a baseline dimension, I'm going to switch over to the annotation panel. In this case, I also am using the views.idw drawing, which is located in your Chapter 5 Exercise folder. From the Drawn Annotation panel, we have two baseline dimension tools, Baseline Dimension Set and just the regular Baseline Dimension Nets. So what I'm going to start off with first, with the Baseline Dimension, I'm going to select the geometry that I want to place the baseline on. I'm going to right-click, Continue. And let me zoom up tight. Now, depending upon where I move my cursor, I'm getting the dimensions to one of the four sides. So in this case, I'm going to place the dimension right there. You notice when it goes to the dotted lines, that's ac actually telling me the spacing that was set inside the dimension style, how far it is away from that edge of the part. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And I can also do a right click while my cursor is over this bottom line and I can make that the origin or I can switch that. Let's say I want it to move it to the top, right click, make origin. So just by moving your cursor over one of the edges or one of the extension lines of the dimension, click make origin. And then when you're done, go ahead and right click and create. Now these dimensions that are created here, they are individual, so I can go back and you can see I can move them around and Inventor doesn't care. I can place them right over each other if I wanted to. If I right click over any one of them, I have the same editing capabilities that I would with any other associative drawing dimension, but I don't have any properties to tie each other back to one another or the baseline dimensions back to each other here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete those baseline dimensions and not the view just the dimensions so now let's take a look at the baseline dimension set tool so we're gonna start off doing the exact same thing again always, always take pay close attention to what's happening in the lower left hand corner of the screen so in this case select the model or sketch geometry so I'll do a window around all the objects that I want. If I only wanted specific ones, I could select them individually. And when I'm done with that, right click continue. And just like I did before, I'm going to go ahead and place the dimensions. And just like I did before, I can right click create or move my cursor over that extension line and make that the origin. In this case, I'm going to right click create. It's you can see here's a big difference right off the bat. As I move my cursor over any one of those dimensions, the entire set is highlighted, hence baseline dimension set. And let's see what that actually does for us. If I try to move one of these dimensions, you'll see that it will not allow me to go over an existing dimension. And in this case, when I push it off to the left, it's going to automatically push that other one back. So if I want to go back and rearrange those, let, let's just uh, kind of mess it up here a little bit. I'll just randomly move these around. If I move back over that set, right click, I have a whole bunch of different options. The first one I want to do is arrange, and that will go back and rearrange them specifically. So sometimes when you're placing in these baseline dimensions, you may want to remove one of the dimensions. So what I'm going to do here, is I'm going to go ahead and take a look at we have two different options I can detach a member and when I detach a member you can see it's free to move wherever I want it to so it was just like it was placed in this case I'm just going to go ahead and delete that one now just pressing delete on the keyboard I'm going to go back over to this 67.50 dimension and I'm going to right click and I can delete the member directly in this case it's just entirely gone and then let's again go back and click on Arrange. Now, just like we did when I was creating these baseline dimensions, I can change my mind. And let's say I want to make the origin up on top. Just move my cursor over that extension line. Right click. And then from here, select Make Origin. And you can see everything adjusts accordingly. So let's take that back to the bottom. 
Again, right click, make origin. But now, as we are removing some of those dimensions, maybe I want to go back and replace them, or maybe let's say some geometry is added to this, uh, to the part that I am not having a dimension added to. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, I'm just going to move my cursor over any one of these dimensions inside the set, right click, and we have an option here called add member. And all you need to do is select on the piece of geometry that you want to add. So in this case, I'm just going to select that endpoint, and you'll see that value is automatically added. So these dimensions, they are associative. If I right click over there, you'll see that there is no edit model dimension here, that these dimensions are associative. If the geometry would change, these dimensions will update to reflect the new length. 